methods of data collection methods of data collection there are two types of methods of data collection one is a primary data collection second one is a secondary data collection very important question for your examination one is a primary data collection second one is a secondary data collection primary data collection means collection of the data for the first time okay collection collection of the data for the first time uh, first data normally the primary data for a good example is interview schedule or questionnaire method survey collection of data for the first time please write out collection of data for the first time is called as a primary data and another one is a secondary data the secondary data means the data which have been collected by somebody which is already available the data have been collected by somebody which is already available or published somewhere in the form of articles it may be available in the websites it may be available in the journals so what in the secondary data is teaching you so where you want to collect the secondary data for as a raw data again you want to process it further for your data or research objectives based on the research objective you want to proceed you want to further study then you want to give the result so here primary data means it is a first time researcher want to conduct the research it is primary data based research and the secondary data based research which is already available for your uh, understanding i will tell you those who wish to do research project in the under general category mode or general project or a marketing project or human resource projects they all depends on the primary data collection again i am repeating those who wish to conduct the research for marketing based research or a finance uh, sorry uh, human resource based research or general perspective are all focusing on primary data collection where they wish to conduct a survey take a survey from the respondent second one is a secondary data the secondary data which was already collected by somebody and it is published somewhere else maybe those researcher who are doing a research in the area of finance economics they all coming under secondary data based research suppose i want to study the financial performance of steel company steel manufacturing companies in india assume that in india we have so many steel manufacturing companies i am going to select 10 steel manufacturing companies like jindal steel steel authority of india limited adani steel agni steel it is uh, again it is not local it is not a branded company it is listed company but anyway okay where the financial documents annual reports are already available where it is available where the annual report kana where the annual report of the respective companies are available where to access ha huh? money control very good annual report where you can access mint ha huh? what are all the sources are providing annual report or financial report of the company you can access through every company every listed company they want to publish the annual report and in the website in the company website and also the web financial websites like nsc bsc or money control whatever else so where you have to access the data and all the shareholders who is called a shareholders who is called shareholder shareholder who invest who bought a particular company shares right who is called stakeholders
okay share stakeholders are stakeholders are suppliers customers the government so many people which is connected with the okay, which is connected with the particular company directly or indirectly but shareholder is a person who can buy the company shares here secondary data which was already available or published information these are all the different methods of primary data collection these are all the different methods of primary data collection so first one observation method first type of primary data collection is the observation method i will discuss one by one second one is the interview method third one is a questionnaire method fourth one through other in scheduled method other methods suppose i want to collect the customer information so you are going to buy a product and the feedback form will be given to you and you can fill the feedback form and send it to the respective person or respective uh, department that is all coming under other methods okay this is also primary data collection this is also primary data collection method so first one observation method mainly the primary data and secondary data will be applicable for quantitative research mainly the qualitative research is also important but the qualitative research is mainly for uh, primary data but in quantitative both the data primary data as well as secondary data both are involved here so observation method interview method through questionnaire method through schedule method other methods which include warranty card we are collecting the data from the different customers related to warranty card distributor audit pantry audit consumer panels mechanical devices through projective technique depth in review or content analysis uh, do you know what do you mean by trp trp television television rating point trp rate so uh, every day some serial got a trp rate right these are all the other mechanical devices we are applying some type of technical devices mechanical devices and who how many customers are watching this channel we will insert some chips over in uh, receiver or some other instrument over there so that how many of the customers are watching this particular channel increasing the trp rating this is also coming under primary data collection there is a one more survey called tam t a m can anybody what do you mean by tam this also like a trp television audience measurement television audience measurement trps like a uh, trp television rating point television audience measurement so we are also conducting some type of research who are how many papers newspapers are reading every day so circulation the dinantandi is claiming that uh, we are selling uh, i mean we are having to uh, two crore uh, uh, subscribers total number of papers printing is called as a subscribers right so these are all other methods of data collection under primary data observation method so observing the variables observing the variables i told you already suppose i want to know about the attitude of a woman towards fmcg product or purchasing pattern of fmcg products with reference to consumers what i should do i am not going to frame the questionnaire instead of framing the questionnaire i have some structured or unstructured form of forms in my hand i go in front of the particular department store and in stand and i will watch the behavior of the women or behavior of the customer or consumer who are picking on the particular product if you take a san sanitary uh, uh, or or if you take a uh, toilet soap if you take any other medicines if you take any type of product which product they are picking up whether a price is influencing factor or a promotion is influencing factor 
or a design is an influencing factor or a capture is an in, in, in influencing factor that we are going to checking out. So it is called as a observation method. Here in the observation method, there are some disadvantages and also advantages. If you take advantages, it is more on subjective. Bias are eliminated. We are not directly in with the particular uh, subject. Sub particular subject means object or a person. We are not directly involved and interact with them. Instead of that, we are simply stand in front of the department store and watching the behavior of the particular person and we are ticking in our seat. And we are observing, we are writing case study or whatever else. That is called as an observation method. One primary data collection. Second one is a Second one is, uh, so in case of observation, it is a very expensive method. Why it is expensive? We want to appoint a separate enumerator. Why it is an expensive method? Because we want to appoint an enumerator. Enumerator means, enumerator means a person who wish to conduct a research on behalf of the particular research uh, people. Uh, this is assistant and we want to pay the salary for the enumerator. So that's why it is an expensive observation method is an expensive method and the in information we obtain is very limited. We can obtain only very limited information. We may not know what is feedback. We may not know what is uh, your actual performance of the product. Again, there are structured observation, unstructured observation, participant, non-participants, control and uncontrolled observation. These are all different types. Structured means structure, structured questionnaire and we have to fill it structured questionnaire themselves within ourselves. Unstructured, we will note uh, this, uh, this girl, this girl, this boy again and again. Uh, uh, with uh, Randomly we watch or uh, very frequently we can visit the storeroom. These are all unstructured. What, whatever the purchase habit, whatever we find that we have to include it. Participants again, non-participants observation. Participants sometimes we can interact with the people and get get some observation. Non-participant without interact with them, and controlled and uncontrolled variables or observation. Some uncontrolled factor, control factors. If you take example. Uh, if you buy some products in Reliance Mall, you all visited to Reliance in many many of the cities. Not only Reliance, but all the stores. And uh, when you go to the store building section, there are some products which have been displayed with you. Yes or no? Right? Some some products. In fact, this product you are not interested to buy. But the, they are focused in in front of the building, building uh, section. They forced us to buy a particular product. In marketing, there are some terminology. Probably the professor will teach you. Okay. This is called as unforeseen factors. Unforeseen factors. So these are all controlled and uncontrolled observation factors, which are also involved in the observation. Second one is the interview schedule or interview method. So what is interview method? Again, we are framing the questionnaire and we will go with the interact with the particular person. We are collecting the data. Suppose I wish to conduct uh, the interview with a certain person related to product. So personal interview method, face to face. So one type of primary data collection in the personal, personal interview method, we are collecting the data using face to face. Mostly it is a structured format. Please note out. Personal interview, face to face. Mostly it is a structured format. These are all very, some keywords you can uh, understand and write. Face to face interview method, structured format, collection of information. Again, it is a structured interview, unstructured interview, focused interview, clinical interest interview, non-directive interview, merits and demerits. Second type of interview, so first one is observation, 
in the primary data collection first one is observation method second one is a interview under interview we have two types one is a personal interview and the second one is a telephone interview collection of data from the respondents using telephone media or medium we just make a phone call to the particular respondents and we are collecting the data assume that i am doing project in dalmia cement my topic is a study on a study on distributors attitude or franchisor attitude or wholesaler attitude with reference to dalmia cement in tamil nadu assume that in tamil nadu more than 400 500 wholesaler will be available for dalmia cement how do you conduct the study it is very difficult each and every place we can go there and get an appointment and collection of data it is very difficult and again we can go for either sending the data by mail that is for google using a google form that is a one method that we will discuss later then another method telephonic interview where you will collect the data on the telephone number of these people and you can make a phone call of these people wholesalers of dalmia cement and you, you can interview with them so this is called as a telephone interview telephone interview two questioner this is the more frequent method which is involved here it is called as a questioner method Here, most frequent method involved is a questionnaire method. We are framing the questionnaire. We are framing the questionnaire, and questionnaire. Please listen, all of you. Ninety-nine percentage of the our research we are doing the research and facing. I mean, uh, following the research under questionnaire method. Very very important. We are framing the questionnaire. Construct a questionnaire, and the questionnaire will be handed over to the respondent. Hand questionnaire will be handed over to the respondent, and the respondent will themselves if the questionnaire can be filled and given back to the researcher, then it is called as a questionnaire method, survey method. Again, I am telling you that questionnaire method collection of data. using a questionnaire that is called as a survey that is called as a survey so this method of data collection is quite popular in case of big enquiries whether we may send the questionnaire by post or you directly go there and collect the data any manner that is not an issue this but this is a very important here in questionnaire we are including about general terminologies name age gender income education qualification these are all gender general form right in the questionnaire we are using like name of the respondent gender of the respondents age of the respondents education qualification of the respondents then very very important you should also follow the question sequence suppose i wish to conduct this research with reference to uh, the usage of mobile phone among college students you all know that which question should be come first which question should come and last right mobile usage how long you are using mobile phone every day how many minutes you are using whether the mobile phone is helpful for finding out a new friend whether the mobile phone is helpful for finding out a, a academic journey or improving your performance interacting with parents or if do you feel that mobile phone is disturbing you the question sequence would be there some fast few questions will be first the negative questions would be last then question formulation and wording very very important not always yes or no questions most as an mba students we should form a questionnaire 
is like a statement based questionnaire followed by five point scale followed by five point scale we will discuss separately on how to frame the questionnaire right ah uh, here very important collection of data through schedule collection of data through schedule one is collection of data collection of data the third one collection of data through questionnaire collection of data through questionnaire it is survey and collection of data through schedule or otherwise called as interview schedule Can anybody? What is the difference for both these method? For both these method, questionnaire is an instrument. All of you, questionnaire is a instrument. We are using for collection of data using survey method and also schedule method. But what is the difference? Can anybody? Hmm. No. Here, what is this method? Questionnaire method, collection of data through questionnaire. Questionnaire. Assume that this is questionnaire. Assume that this is questionnaire. I am going to hand over the questionnaire to the respondent. He is using my product. And what he will do? He will. ओके <laughs> So I am going to ask the question and fill that answer from the researcher itself. The researcher will not distribute the question to the respondent. And this is called as schedule. Very important question. Difference between interview schedule and questionnaire method. Okay. Now you tell what is interview schedule. Examination. The same question I have asked to you to be seen here, but nobody has answered. Without knowing that, they have collected collect the data. First one, 
Questioner is an instrument. Please listen all of you. Questioner is an instrument. It is a mechanical device to collect the data. Okay, questioner is an instrument. And for using the questioner, we will go for collection of data through survey method. Questioner survey, that is called as a questioner survey method. Where the questionnaire will be handed over to the respondent. Who is respondent? The employee. Suppose I am conducting a survey on human resource, the employee is your respondent. Suppose I am conducting survey on with reference to customer or company, then customer is a my respondent. And he fills the response and hand over to the researcher. Me is called as a researcher. Who conduct the study is called as a researcher. Or an enumerator is a person who appointed by the researcher will conduct the research. This is called as a questioner survey. Second one is interview schedule. Where interview schedule where questioner, the same questioner is an instrument. But the questioner will not be handed over to the respondent hand. Who is respondent? Who is respondent? Who wish to provide the response for the particular research. I am not going to hand over to the respondent hand. And the researcher or enumerator will ask the questions one by one. And will receive the response from the voice of the respond. And I will take the answers. That is called as an interview schedule. It is called as an interview schedule. Interview method is different that we already discussed. Observation method, interview method. Then here it is an interview scheduled method. In most of the research, social science research, primary database research, we either go by pri primary data collection by questionnaire method, survey method or by go for interview schedule method. These are all the difference between, that's what I told you, the difference between Questionnaire and schedule will be how nature, cost, response, time, contact, and usage. If you take, I will take one example as a response. Response rate will be very higher in case of questionnaire survey method or interview schedule method. You have 63 students. What I will tell you, I will take a printout of this form, questionnaire form. I will hand over to all. How many will return? How many will return? I will give one day. How many of them are will to return? Not possible. I want to send the message, roll number two, come and meet me. Three, come and meet me. So, response rate will be very less. But in case of interview schedule, what I will do? I will do, I will go in, stand in front of the Nissan. Tell me, sir, where are, you, where are you come from? What is your business? What is your father? What is your income? I'll ask, how do you satisfy about the product? How many years you are using this product? So, response rate will be very higher. Okay? Say, similarly for cost, similarly for time, for interview schedule method, time will be taken higher. One by one, we want to interview. Usage, contact, nature, etc, etc. Then these are all other data collections. I have told you some methods, TAM method, TRP methods, warranty card. Suppose you are buying a product and the company will provide the warranty card. In the warranty card itself, they are collecting the data about the customer name, phone number, address. This is, a, again, it is a primary data collection. Store audit. You go and Audit the details about the particular product in the store. Pantry audit, consumer panels. So you can use some mechanical devices. Okay, you can use some mechanical devices. Nowadays, you all know that uh, there is a technology called uh, AA, artificial intelligence. They are using a lot of techniques for collection of data. Projective techniques, depth in review, content analysis. So paragraph writing. Passage writing, you might be studied in your UG level, uh, sorry, in your school level. Some depth interview passage will be given. You want to frame the passage. They can observe yourself, your performance, etc., etc. These are all 
other method of collection of the data under important uh, projective techniques we have different methods story completion test again it is all primary data collection method verbal pictorial techniques play technique conducting quiz test examination depth interview word sentence test association test sentence completion test story testing okay these are all uh, one important uh, techniques under primary data collection how many of them are known the channel called you your story your story have you uh, hear about any information about your story it is a one type of blog one of the women entrepreneur who start this channel and more than he is earning lot of money with reference to that particular channel that channel i must show it is a blog or website your story they are sharing the stories each individual come to a forum and they are sharing the story and they have Uh, maybe uh, around the 12 or 15 vernacular languages uh, this website is functioning just like writing a blog i'm not sure about but she is earning lot of money and again she started uh, her business maybe 5 6 years back now she is earning lot of money right there are so many things i just want to tell you okay just a second a uh, very important uh, test collection of secondary data collection of secondary data i will uh, i'll close this and within 5 minutes secondary data means the data which are already available somebody has collected the data and they have stored in somewhere and what is the responsibility of the researcher we want to gather the data again raw data and we want to analyze for further fruitful result now nifty 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 the na a section zones pakka varukranga nifty national national stock exchange index nifty was reached which level okay nifty is a national stock exchange index okay i want to study the performance of the nifty index for last 10 years the data which are already available i will go there website website of nsc then i collect the data and process and do some research do some analysis use some coding python coding r programming any coding then do the findings which company share will be more performed and which company is not performed i will find the result this is secondary data data is already available you will get the data if you take infosys wipro company if you take in companies like wipro and infosys these two companies have issued a shares in the year 1981 ipo if you would have invested rupees 10000 If you do, you would have invested rupees ten thousand in Wipro company shares in nineteen eighty one during IPO. The value of ten thousand is now a eight hundred crore. I am not joking. Value of ten thousand in nineteen eighty one is now around eight hundred crore. Tell. now you can imagine the performance of the stock market how the stock market is performing right so secondary data which you have already available again we are going to take up and we are going to process doing some analysis that is called as a secondary data very important secondary data have two source please note out published data and unpublished data i am not not going to take much time please published data unpublished data published data from government source trade journal websites reports magazines etc published means published by some organization trade journals websites uh, reports books magazines are all published journal 
can you tell somebody please tell what is unpublished source unpublished think and tell blocks are also now they are publishing hmm. what are all the sources or data are not published anybody have a habit of writing a diary <laughs> okay so diary means diary type of information or not published autobiography biography right so unpublished information that's all that's all diary is letter you have in habit of writing a letter Uh, you know that what type of letter right unpublished biographies autobiographies some type of these informations are unpublished data which are again it is a part of secondary data collections okay so that's all about secondary data